We cooking something. We cooking something. We cooking something in the chat sweet kitchen. Hey, hey, chat sweet family. Welcome to the chat sweet and cooking with the chat sweet kitchen today. I'm here with my girl Shani. And we got some good stuff for you all today. Sit back, get ready. You know, we're always trying to make sure we get some good, healthy, delicious stuff in for you. I am going to let Shani start it off with some of these good, 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 this good meal that she prepared for everybody. So Shani, what do you have for our family today on this Cooking in the Chat Sweet Kitchen? Okay, well, today I have a cheeseburger casserole. Mm, low carb now, low carb, because you think a cheeseburger, you're like, wait, what? Cheeseburger, that's some fattening. But no, I am I am so into casseroles. I like that one, just almost like a crock pot too. It's like one for everything, vegetables, the protein, everything in one little dish. I love casseroles. So finding this low carb cheeseburger casserole was awesome. Now, instead of ground beef because it's called for ground beef i used ground turkey so that even reduced it even more the calorie content yes and there are only two carbs in one serving of this casserole can you imagine two carbs what oh my god and it was absolutely delicious so i'll tell you the ingredients and then you um you know listen in and see what you want to Put your spin on. Okay. So the ingredients of the cheeseburger casserole are you have one pound of ground turkey, beet onion, green peppers, mushrooms. You need four eggs, Worcester sauce, ketchup, because what's a burger without ketchup and mustard. You need uh, whipping cream, hot sauce, low fat cheese, and the seasonings I put pepper. Himalayan pink sea salt. I threw a little dab of the um, seasoned salt, just a little bit though. Yeah. Dill Ooh. and celery seed. Mm. And that's it. And the cream cheese. Can't forget that cream cheese because that makes it like a creamy. Oh, it's a creamy. God. All yes. right. So I started off oh, with delicious. ground browning the ground turkey. Oh, and I with the little little piece, a little maybe one tablespoon of butter, because I had to saute the vegetables also. I put the onions, cut that onion, and I put it in there. Put the green pepper, put the mushrooms, and sauteed all that together. Got that all good. Poured the Worcester sauce in there. Also, then after putting the Worcester sauce in there, um, I put the cream cheese. And it got really creamy, as you can see. Mm. Okay, set that aside. And then I made, there's another sauce I had to make. So using the heavy whipping cream and the four eggs, put a little seasoning in, put some pepper in there. As you can see, a little bit of that celery seed, a little bit of that uh, Lowry's, and then a little dab of, I threw my, a little dab of hot sauce too. I know, it's like, what's it? Look, I'm putting all the things that I love to put on my hamburgers, okay? <laughs> So, and look, then I look, whisk that up, whisk that up, pour that in with that creamy, you see that, see the mixture right there, pour that in there, stir oh. it all up, Then I layer, I grease my, it didn't call for you to do that, but I greased the pan a little bit with a little um, avocado oil, and then I laid, spread out the meat mixture into the um, pan, Okay. then pour that that sauce over it. Yes. Then I got my cheese and layered the cheese on top, put it in the oven for like 30 minutes. Mm. And ooh, woo, that thing, it was smelling good. I know. And I will tell you that it tasted excellently. It was so, <laughs> so delicious. And remember, there's only two grams of carbs in this. Oh my God. Per serving, per serving, per serving. So the serving that you see, that's what it, that I should, that you can see right now, that is only two carbs. Wow. Oh my gosh, Shani, that looks delicious too. It, is, it was so good. It was oh so good. God. I shared it with a few friends. They were like, oh, yummy. They enjoyed it also. Oh my God. So, oh my God. I'm going to have to make that. I got to make yeah, that. And it's, it's quick too. It's quick. You know, it's like I said, I love, that's why I love the casserole things because it's like just one, you know, throw it in. But sometimes 
it's a lot of um, calories, you know, because I used to use, because this, this, this quick, this quick, is that a lot of, uh, I got a recipe book with a lot of casseroles, but of course that's bread and flour. That's a lot. So I'm like, dang, what can I do? You know, what can I do to make it less caloric and less carbs? And yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this. I love this. Oh my God. Like I have to really try this. Please, this I mean, love that's, I love the cheeseburger and that's right right up my wheelhouse right there what you right. just did. oh yes my goodness oh gosh we cooking in the chat suite we yes. cook it cook it, it. Cook it. <laughs> so what you cook up baby i know you got something good girl well listen i'm gonna tell you this is crazy because this i don't know why i haven't thought about this before it's the combination of everything i love and i did a meal and i did a little dessert oh so, yes 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 so i for my meal everybody all right, I did a did an avocado stuffed with crab. Salad. Ooh, what? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I know that was delicious, unbelievable. So, I mean, literally, I boiled some crabs. I'm, I'm not. I don't have that to show everybody, but I boiled the crab. I cracked it out, chopped up the crab, used some uh, mayonnaise, um, some green onions, chopped them up, the chives and everything. Got down to the the you know green onion and the chive part. I used my pink Himalayan sea salt. I love that bagel with everything seasoning. You know, that's all the rage, especially in the yeah. keto. You can find it everywhere. Use that in there. Of course, the garlic powder, a little bit of garlic salt too. Mix that up, made that mixture, and then cored out that avocado. Oh my goodness. And so as you can see, that's the cored out avocado right there, getting ready to get everything prepped. So, you know, you went through, cut that avocado and you can see that mixture. I stuffed that mixture inside of that avocado, put some Parmesan and Asiago cheese, put it in the air fryer. Oh my goodness. It only took like 15 minutes. And as you can see, it bakes down. I made a soy sauce with it and it got me some wasabi. To like, yeah, and then I made like a ramelade sauce, which I did with hot sauce, Frank's hot sauce, and just some mayonnaise. And so you can see again, once it's baked down, I don't bake it too long, about 15 minutes on like 390 on that air fryer, gets that avocado just right, the softness that it needs, where it, but it's still not mushy. And then, like I said, put that cheese topping on there, and you can see this is a win win. I mean, not fattening it all totally keto because it's just the the meat and the avocado and that cheese i couldn't believe it i was like i should be making this all the time and you guys can see that one piece right there i cut up it it was absolutely delicious i'm not just saying that like seriously everybody try this it's so easy and it's so good you will love this i mean after that so I was thinking, I'm like, my sister, all the time in the summertime, we always used to have this thing called the Jello cake. I don't, did you guys used to do that, Johnny? Jello cake, you said? Yeah, Jello cake, yeah. No, how's that? You yeah, so we had a neighbor, and so she'd always make these cakes, and it was like a lime Jello cake. She would use lime Jello inside the cake. And so my sister made one, and I was like, oh my God, like, I so want some of this cake. And I was thinking like, how can I have it? Like, I mean, I, I, I want to do it, but I don't want to have all these sweets. And then I thought, right. you know what? I'm going to do it keto style. And so I got that. And so I didn't do it homemade, but Swerve, who makes the granulated sugar, the confectionate sugar for like the, you know, keto community, uh, for anyone who's looking, you know, to watch sugar intake, they have those Swerve cake mixes now and they come in chocolate. They come in like a yellow cake mix. So I got a Swerve cake mix. These are the ingredients. I got the Swerve cake mix. I did the, and so, you know, you just read the back of the box and what that takes, a couple of eggs and everything. I put some, the milk in it. I always use milk inside of my, if I use a cake mix instead of, even if I make it homemade, I use milk instead of uh, water. Because to me, it always makes a cake more, you know, moist. And so used the vanilla flavor and also used Jello. You need one pack of Jello. Now you don't like cook the Jello. You literally just dump the Jello over in the cake. Really? Yes, yes, yes. So, oh, wow. okay. Yes. Yeah, so you can do because I'm going to do another for you guys, family. Because I'm like, I'm going to get crazy with this. Because I tell you, I was doing it, and then I saw I had regular Jello. So in my picture, sorry, family, you'll see it's a regular Jello. But I did go out and get sugar-free Jello. Oh, I was wondering if you use. Yeah, I went and got sugar-free before I did it, but I'd already got my picture together. So I was like, I'll just you know slot it in. Everybody will see it. But I'm going to go one step deeper with this because I found a company called, I believe it's Simply Delish, and they do the keto jello. And it's keto jello and keto pudding. So that sugar is all the way right. 
you know, I believe it's made with erythritol or either the stevia, so, or monk fruit, one of them, so, but it's big in the keto community, it's called Simply Delish, I'll link that information in the chat below so you guys can see, but yeah, you can just see, like, literally, these are my ingredients, have three eggs, have my vanilla, have my milk, my jello, to get a, I switch it out for the keto jello, and then that swerve cake mix, so I just have a pan, usually just like a little regular pan, you can see I put all the mix over in there together, you can see it, and I started beating this up. You can see that green, that green that you see, that's just a jello. Like I said, you know, normally, you, normally we're making a jello, like putting hot water in it, and you don't do that. All you do is throw that pack of jello over into that cake mix. You can see it's turning green. I mean, it got it all mixed down really well. And you can see how it's got even smoother. It's liquefying, you know, where again, it gets that cake mix consistency where we are ready. I mean, you can see it right here. I did a little stir for you all so you can see how the consistency changed on it and how it's ready. And it's green. You could do this with any flavor. Like I'm going to try it with strawberry. I'm going to try it with cherry. You know what I mean? Just to see, because I love those flavors. Again, on, I'm pouring it. You see me getting this ready in this pan. I sprayed my pan with my um, Pam Baker's uh, nonstick. And you can see it. There it is, cooked, ready. Oh my God. And I don't even put any icing or anything on it. I got a little close right here so you can see that green down in there. You see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And there it is. I cut it up and there it is. A green, it's a jello cake, lime green jello cake. It is it absolutely delicious. Like seriously, Shani, this is so fast and so easy. Again, it was made with that swerve cake mix, which is all totally cake, keto cake mix. And so, and then with the sugar-free jello, and again, I'm gonna try that simply delish jello, which is all the way keto. You got your dessert. You guys know that sugar is my beast, but I'm making ways to find how I can still have me some fun stuff. Even with, yeah, so I mean, like, listen, family, we are excited to still bring you guys good ideas about things. We know, again, we love everything as women, but we're always looking at ways in which we can have what we want, but not overdo it and still... I mean, I would say, you would probably say this too, Sean, I'm really finding, and you know, on my keto journey and just like really trying to watch stuff that I'm eating, because again, COVID wasn't nice to me. I'm still trying to work through, uh, work through these clown pounds. These clown pounds. Clown pounds. I'm still trying to work through these clown pounds because it, it's a battle, especially when summer comes, you know, it's just, it just gets even crazier because you're out and about and, and snacking and having fun and all sorts of stuff, barbecues and stuff like that, but I will say we are really finding ways in which we can enjoy a lot of things and we don't have to really go down that bad path that we've gone before. Would you agree with that? I think so. I think yeah. so. I mean, it's, it's taking a, the time to find it and just, you know. It's a whole new world. Even with family, like, you know, we brought you guys different smoothies. And I mean, one episode, we did all sorts of smoothies where you did the smoothies, the smoothie bowls. And I mean, we're still making that stuff. Like, I mean, yeah. this is a staple in our, you know, daily eating what we do. I mean, we, so it's so many ways. We got so much fun stuff to bring you guys with us cooking in this kitchen, showing these, all these different great meals that we have making. And again, we're going to do dupes on things like show you things that are, you know, made one way, but we're going to show you the healthy way to do it. So get excited about that. Have your pen and paper ready because we've got a lot of fun stuff coming in that way. Again, yeah. like I said, always trying to really stay in the vein of what's best for our women that are 40, over 50 and beyond. Yeah. We really want to make sure that we are identifying with the ladies in which we're speaking with. You guys know who we are, what we're all about. We are women over 50. And we are proud of that. Yes, okay. we are. We, yes, just, we, are. we both have had recent birthdays and we're both turning to have turned 54. 54. <laughs> yes, we are. We're telling you family 54. We are Gemini twins. We are both Geminis. And so we are, like I said, it's, it's been great. We're going to keep, like I said, trying to be on our vein of looking good, feeling good, doing the right things to get our bodies. I mean, Shani's been Shani's got hers all the way where she needs to have it. I mean, I'm still I got a long way to I'm go. I'm still a work in progress, people. I'm still a work in progress. <laughs> I have a long way to go, but she she's so good. She, you know, she encourages and like it lets me know, like, bam, you know, stay, stay focused, stay focused. When you're gonna get there again. So, you know, but yeah, so we just wanted to take a moment, bring you guys some fun treats that we would do it in our chat suite kitchen because we're gonna have our kitchen episodes as well in here. So again, remember, we're changing the channel. Just a little bit, a little couple of tweaks, not really changing it, but a little, bit, yeah, a little tweaks, getting ready to identify a little bit closer with 
who our category is, who our women are that we're speaking with. And of course, men, if you want to join in and listen, we love that. We love all your opinions back. But family, don't forget, stick with us. Give us that big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell. And also pass information to your friends. We would love, love, love to have more women that are interested and we want to hear all the great stuff that we content that we have coming for them. So Shani, what you got to say for the family? Yes, I'm we're I'm here for, not we're here for you. And mm -hmm. any ideas, any things that you want us to touch on, please, please put it in the comments and we will incorporate it. Sure will. We sure will. We are open to the fun. So all right. Well listen family again thanks for stopping by. Hope we didn't take too much of your time, but again, thank you for sharing this moment with us. Have a great, great weekend. All right. Bye-bye.